We all know that the Minecraft 1.19 world update is going to bring about a lot of changes to the world of Minecraft, but in this video we are going to be taking a look at some features Mojang are already planning on updating. Be sure to drop a like on this video to let Mojang know you are excited, but with that being said, let's dive right into it. So last week in episode 15 of This Week in Minecraft, we talked about a lot. There was a beta in there, a snapshot, a bunch of of new features added to the game and Mojang since then have been very active on social media asking for our feedback and what we would personally do about some of the changes they implemented. This was tweeted out by Nenbon originally who just in case you do not know is a senior game developer for Minecraft Java Edition at Mojang so a very experienced developer right there, very talented individual who did in fact say a good few days have passed. What do you think about the skulk spreading mechanics? Good and bad? I'm all ears. I find this quite interesting that Nenbon is already coming out and asking for feedback about this because obviously a lot of people were very excited when this originally dropped and this is why the developers have kind of had to take cover and shelter for a few days to let all of the hype blow over so that they can finally get feedback but I find it very interesting that what Nenbon um, and King Dogs are focusing on here more on that in a moment um, yeah as I said I find it quite interesting that they are focusing down on the skulk spreading mechanics and it does reinforce how important they are to the game just in case you've got no idea what this is or if you've forgotten this is basically how skulk will spread throughout the world of Minecraft and how XP will be dropped and how it will basically drop XP a bunch of things like that. Skulk as we found out is a lot more than just a new block. It is almost like a new mechanic in of itself. It will spread, it will develop, it will form and that's why it is very important that Nenbon is asking for feedback. A user on Twitter did point out that the Skulk doesn't seem to work with the Ender Dragon so when the Ender Dragon is defeated it does not seem to work with Skulk but Nenbon did say no you didn't just it hasn't been implemented yet. The dragon's passing is special. So this does basically confirm here something very exciting that if the dragon is in range of this of the skulk it will have a very special reaction which is incredible and it just gets me so excited for what's to come. We've been speculating about this for a while what the end has got to do with all of this and skulk but it's just awesome to know that Maljang have planned this far ahead. Does this confirm that some kind of skulk Super Dragon is just around the corner. Who knows? It's going to be incredible, and I am so down for whatever Maljunk has got planned and I can only imagine as we know the Ender Dragon drops quite a bit of XP so how will this react with Skulk? Will it spread very quickly or will it create some kind of a mega dragon we really do not know at the moment drop down your thoughts down below now let's move on to what king b dogs had to say about all of this just in case you do not know king b dogs is another legendary developer over at maljang quite a new um person over at maljang and is a minecraft gameplay developer at maljang very talented and king b dogs as we know has also been working with nenbon um especially on skulk and the skulk growth and all of that good stuff stuff but King Bee Dogs did add to this by saying please give feedback actually retweeting Nenbon's um, ask for help. This just basically tells us that Maljang is very, very keen on getting this feature the best it can be, getting it to work as good as possible, and they are really, really eager. As I said earlier, it's only been a few days since all of this was originally introduced, and they are already hard at work at making it as good as possible. So everyone, if you've not already, go and check out the snapshot if you have Java, and leave your feedback. I almost missed that though, Nenbon talking about the special reaction with the Ender Dragon and I'm so so excited to see what is done with this. Will there be special reactions for um, the Guardian, the Wither, the Ender Dragon or is it just 
for the Ender Dragon. If it is, that kind of adds to the fact that Skulk is from the End and it's related to the Ender Dragon. Just in case you've not already saw it, um, in some Warden Protal type footage, we did actually see that originally it was actually meant to have the End texture on it. So I still really strongly feel there's some kind of a connection between Skulk and the Ender Dimension. I've been really thinking about doing this for a while, like a special full on dedicated video about this, but I find it really interesting how in the Protile type footage the Warden did have the same texture on it as the Ender Portal, so I definitely feel like something's going on there. Is there some kind of Minecraft overlord in the Minecraft world that's just creating all of this darkness and creating all of this end, or is it just a coincidence and it's just a placeholder texture? I'm so incredibly excited to see what's going to happen and it, it's just going to be absolutely crazy. But yeah, I would say that Skulk and Skulk Growth is arguably one of the biggest ever Minecraft gameplay mechanical changes ever added to the game. We've sure, we've had quite a few exciting things added in the game, new mobs and stuff like that, but we've never really had an in-game mechanic like this where there's a block that spreads. Apart from fire, obviously, that's been in the game forever. Fire will spread, of course, but Skulk is on a whole new level. It's almost like the um, corruption or the... Um Crimson from Terraria, the biome that spreads and corrupts the overworld of Minecraft. So let me know your thoughts about all of this down below in the comments. Are you excited or are you terrified for the Warden? I am just so, so anxiously awaiting what Mojang have got next. The fact that they're already thinking of links between Skulk and the Ender Dragon is incredible and I cannot wait to see what is around the corner for Minecraft. Do you think Think all of this lives up to the hype? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. I know some people are going to think this is just minute news and just little details and nitpicks, but I am definitely quite excited to see what Maojang's got in store. Originally, I was just going to cover this and encourage people to give feedback, but with the information now that there is something planned for the Ender Dragon and the way it will interact with Skulk, I am so excited. This could almost be like a skulk explosion where it just rapidly spreads over a giant area. I wonder what they've got planned for the wither and other bosses also. Drop your thoughts down below. I'm certainly very excited for all of this and if you are too be sure you um, drop your thoughts but uh, apart from that be sure you check out the developers Twitter and obviously engage over there. Give feedback like they requested and we can really help to make a good change in the world of Minecraft. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.